Good morning. Uh, my name is Maciej Przezny and I am working in CAS company as a software architect and software developer. In this movie I am going to present how to establish the communication between ComServer installed on my laptop and SIA PLC. The SIA PLC is prepared for this presentation to make it possible to control the values inside the PLC from the front panel, like this. In this presentation, I'm going to use the Ethernet connection to communicate with the PLC. So we are going to connect ComServer and SIA using SBUS over IP protocol. Uh, I will be using uh, OPC Viewer as the client, both OPC Server ComServer and OPC Viewer OPC client will be installed on the same machine. Now we have to talk about communication infrastructure. We have ComServer, we are adding a channel to the ComServer. The next step is adding data provider. In this example it will be protocol SBUS IP. The next step is adding a segment with address uh, of the PLC. In this example address of my PLC is uh, 100 uh, 92.168.0.50 uh, colon 5050 where the first part before colon is IP address and the second part is UDP port number. By default for SBUS protocol it is uh, 5050. The next step is adding a station with name SIA and port with address one, which is the address in the mean of SBUS protocol. The next is uh, what data we are going to read from the PLC. We are going to read uh, three groups of data. Uh, the first group are registers. Uh, the first register is increments every 100 milliseconds, the second register increments every one second, and the third register increments every 10 seconds. Uh, the second group are register 2, but those registers can be controlled from the uh, front panel. Uh, those registers, the, the, the first uh, register in this group have, has address uh, 10, the second has address 11. Uh, the third group is our is flags. Uh, we are uh, going to read two flags. Uh, those uh, the values of those flags can be controlled from the front panel using those switches.